Hey guys, it, in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to divide, change a step file into a solid pod file. So let's say you get a big assembly with a bunch, you get a big assembly with a bunch of pods in it and it's a step file. Obviously on, as on SolidWorks, you can't just open up a step file and you know, you can't open up a step file. But sometimes you don't want all the components in there. So this is when this is useful, when this just say, I have a battery right here that I just found online, and I just want to grab the whole entire body here. And I don't want these little connection pieces here. I don't want this plus here. Um, before we get into how I do that, one thing we should do is when you open up your file, go to options, shown right here, and choose the input assembly as multiple body parts. You could go with the default option and the other options here, but I personally like using this option to be able to convert um, solid, solid step files into pod files. So let's say I have this fun. I want to I want to I want to take this only the box. I don't, I don't I don't want this other stuff. I'm gonna right click here, click insert into new pod. Another thing you gotta make sure is you wanna open so there's a solid body up here and a solid body down here. Sometimes, depending on the part you're using, you can right click up here and go to instant new part. I've had a couple parts where it just doesn't work up here, but it works down here. So make sure if you have something just if this the top one here doesn't work, just go go to the part, click on it individually, go to solid bodies. And just click insert into new pod. Oop, I could press the one one. I want this body here. So I can go insert into new body. Give it a place where I want to put it. I'm going to call it body. It's pretty simple. And press the checkbook here. Once I do that, I get the whole entire. Uh, the, the, the body I wanted. So it doesn't have the other components here. And the color is gone because I just took it, but. That's fine. Let's go back to the pod. If I, another option we can do is I want the red pod here, the connection pod, and the body. I don't want these two pods. So what I can do, there's a couple ways to do this. I can get rid of these two pods. I can go control and left click the, the pods I don't want, press delete, click on delete bodies, and those will disappear. And what you can do is select everything else. And do insert into new pod is one way to do it. We don't have to do the delete option, but this this works too. So now we have the plus the plus thing here, but the minus isn't here. Another way you could do this. Um, another way you could do is just click on the individual bodies. So let's say I want the minus pod this time. I just go minus uh, this piece and this piece. You, you'll know you're selecting the right piece because it's going to be highlighted. The parts you don't want is not going to be highlighted. Then you could just do right click on here, do the same thing, insert into the part, give it a give it a random name. If you don't, you can also skip this step and just press yes. It's going to tell you, it's not going to save, and then you can name the part as well. I'm going to say test 3. And now, only the minus parts left, the plus isn't gone. So if you have a large assembly and you just want a specific part of it, this this is this will work perfectly. You can do this with surfaces as well, surfaces as well, but solid bodies is it sometimes there's some trouble with surfaces. So um, this will work with solid bodies for sure, though. Um, if you found this helpful, please subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave them in, and leave them in the comments. Thanks, guys.